These are the beautiful dresses from Rapunzel's Fashion Show Part Three. They're so easy to make. I show you how in this video. All the dresses in this video were made with organza gift bags. You can find them at the dollar store. That's where I buy most of my supplies to make the doll dresses. The first dress has an organza cape. In the fashion show, I made the dress with a pink hairband, but for this tutorial, I'm going to change it up and make it blue. First thing you have to do is cut here and here. Now it's one long tube. Measure from the doll's armpits to her hips and fold it in. Put it on the doll. For this next step, I'm going to use dark purple thread so you can see what I'm doing. Find the middle and go one pinky finger down. Right there. Put the needle in and pull the thread through. And tie a double knot. I'm tying the knot in front so you can see. But normally, I would tie it so the knot is on the inside of the dress where you can't see it. To do it right, use thread the same color as the dress. This single stitch is the only sewing in this tutorial. To make the dress fit better, in the back, pinch the hairband and clip it with a mini hair clip. For the jewels, I use stickers like these. Put a row right on that edge to cover it up. Cut off a single jewel for the middle here. It covers that stitch nicely. Put in another clip in the back to cinch in the waist. Use a row of stickers for the necklace. It'll look like this. Fold up the bottom edge. Now for the cape. The organza bags come in lots of colors, patterns, and sizes. There's three in this pack. I'm going to use white. This one is seven and a half inches wide and 10 inches long. Take the ends and pull, not too tight. Put it behind the doll and bring the drawstring over the shoulders. Take it to the back and tie it in a bow. Tuck the bow inside the dress. Let's have a look. Oops, I have to do the hair. And Rapunzel looks beautiful in blue. Which one do you like better? The new blue one or the pink one? For the next dress, I'm going to change it up and make it red. The hairband dress is made exactly like the blue dress. For the stitch in the middle, I'm going to use thread the same color as the dress. It looks a lot better, doesn't it? For the organza skirt, I'm using a bag five and a half inches wide and eight inches long. I've already cut the bottom out of this bag I'll demonstrate how I did it with this little bag. Make a tiny, tiny snip in the corner. Get your scissors in the hole and cut along the bottom fold. Now back to the bigger bag. Put it on the doll up to the waist and pull the strings. Take it to the back and tie a bow. Adjust the ruffles. Put a clip in the back to cinch in the waist. Add a jewel to the middle. And make a necklace. Fold up the bottom edge. Almost done. Just the hair left to do. Well, look at Rapunzel. She's the lady in red. Which one do you like better? The new red dress or the pink dress?
The pink floral dress also starts with a hairband dress, only shorter. This one ends just above the knees. For the middle, I'm going to attach a ribbon rose. You can sew on the rose, but I'm going to show you another way to attach it. You'll need a small stud earring like these. I'm going to use white. Put the earring right through the center. The post will come out the other side. Find the middle and poke it through. Put the butterfly wing on the post and push the post downward into the dress. For the skirt, you need a bag five and a half inches wide by eight inches long. The bottom is already cut. Fold the bottom half into the bag like this. The bottom edge and the top edge are now together. Put it on the doll, up to her waist. Pull on the strings. Tie a bow in the back. Fold up the bottom edge. Clip the bow in the back and tuck it into the skirt. Add a necklace and a bracelet. Do her hair. And Rapunzel is ready for the party. She looks so cute. For the green floral dress, you will need clear elastics. For the base dress, you will need white fabric. But if you don't have any, you could use tissue paper. This is used for gift wrapping. And if you don't have tissue paper, you can use tissue, the kind you use to blow your nose. For this tutorial, I'll use tissue paper. You'll need four layers. Fold it like this. Wrap it around the doll so that the opening is in the back. Get two clear elastics and pull it up to the waist. It'll look like this. Next, get the large organza bag. Fold the top down about three inches. Then fold the top edge back to the top. This fold has multiple layers now. Put the bag on the doll, right up to the waist. Pull the strings. Take it to the back and cross over and to the front again and cross over again. And tie a bow in the back. There's a lot of extra fabric in the front. I'm going to fix that from the back. Take a clear elastic, gather all the fabric together in one tight bunch, and wrap the elastic around it twice. Take the ends of the fabric and gently pull it outward. It will look like a big flower blossom. And it smoothed out the front very nicely. Now for the sparkly rose of jewels. The organza layer is a little long, so I'm just going to trim it. That's better. Add a necklace and a bracelet. Do the hair and Rapunzel is ready for the garden party. I finished the back differently in this tutorial. The dress in the fashion show didn't have a big flower blossom in the back. If you want to cinch in the waist more, you know what to do. That's right with little hair clips. The purple floral dress needs a base dress too, just like the green floral dress. This time, I'll show you how to make it with tissue. One for the front and one for the back. Get a clear elastic or two and pull it over the tissue as high as it will go. even out the ruffles. This tissue rips really easy, so you'll have to be gentle. Get a bag, seven and a half inches by 10 inches. 
cut along the bottom. Now, cut a tiny hole on the side, right near the string and beside the seam. Do the same on the other side. Bring the arms down and pull the bag up to her hands. Put one hand through the tiny hole and the other hand through the hole on the other side. Grab the string on each side and pull on it a little. You want to pull the string tight just below her shoulders, not around her neck. Take the strings to the back and cross over. Take it to the front and cross over again and around the waist. Take it to the back again and tie a knot. You won't have enough string to tie a bow. Adjust the ruffles. Smooth out her dress by tugging the organza down. This ruffle keeps popping up. You can put a stitch here to keep it down. Or you can put a stud earring through it to hold it down. Now for a sash. Wrap a ribbon around her waist and tie a bow. I just need to trim the tissue a little and do her hair. And Rapunzel is looking so pretty in her purple floral dress. Now that you know how to make these dresses, which one is your favorite? The new blue dress? The new red dress? The pink floral dress? The green floral dress? Or the purple floral dress? Post your answer in the comment section or click on the iCard and take our poll. Thanks for watching! If you like this video, click like. Check out this video. In this video, I show you how I did Rapunzel's hair for her fashion show, part 3. Don't forget to subscribe! Thank you!